All right, so this is going to be your quick start guide in how to use the school's cameras, which are the Nikon D3100, you can just see it on the side there, okay? So obviously, please make sure you've got the strap attached. I don't want anyone dropping them. Uh, some of you will also be given tripods, uh, and these attach to the threaded hole in the bottom here, okay? Now, if you turn it on its end, so you can see, first thing to do is flick it here so it, that it's on. And then we see the display is turned on, okay? Now, on the top here, we've got our different shooting modes. Now, at the moment, it's on P, which is for program, which is fully automatic. So your ISO, aperture, and your exposure speed are all set automatically based upon the camera's interpretation upon its metering, okay? S is for shutter priority, so you choose the shutter, and it chooses ISO and aperture. A is your aperture priority, which you'll probably use uh, for the most part. So you choose the aperture, and the camera chooses the shutter speed and the ISO. And lastly is manual, so you have full control over all three elements of your ISO, exposure speed, and your aperture, okay? Now around these ones, these are all preset scene modes, okay? So if, for example, you're doing sports or close-up macro, macro photography, the camera will try to th interpret what it thinks are the best settings on your behalf, okay? I would suggest ignore these ones and you'll most likely use either shutter, aperture, or full manual, okay? At the moment, I'm just gonna leave it on here. If it does go up, just, just half press the shutter button and the camera will turn back on, all right? Okay, so your main control here is gonna be your thumb wheel here. Turn that, to, turn that to left and right, you can see that in manual it changes our exposure speed, okay? If you're taking a photograph by hand, as in hand holding it, I would recommend don't go any slower than about 1 60th, okay? If I could give you a quick example as to why that is, take a photo at 1 60th, It's fairly sharp, but if you go any, if you go any slower, it's down to 1 one twenty fifth. It starts to get a little bit blurry, okay, due to the shaking of your hands, okay? And now to change your to change your aperture, see this button here with the little tiny aperture symbol next to it. Press that, and whilst you're holding that with your finger, now if you use the, th the thumb wheel to scroll, we can now change our aperture as well. Okay, remember, high number means a small hole. In fact, it helps you shows us in the graphic there. And as we bring it, bring our aperture up, it, the graphical image there increases as well. Okay. Now the last thing to try and change is our ISO, which we can see just, oops, gone off, just there. Okay. Now to change it, we want to press the I button in the bottom left corner. That brings up the mini of this one. We'll scroll down, scroll down to ISO. And let's say we want maybe, let's go for 400. Okay. That's how we, and we can now take our picture. Now, a part of your process will be refining down and just working out problem solving what settings you need, okay? Now, always only change one element at a time, okay? So if you're gonna change your aperture, change your aperture, maybe by one click, take another test photo, you can take 100 photos. It doesn't really matter too much so long as you can select the best ones afterwards, okay? Now, most of the settings on the camera should be okay, but I'm just gonna have a quick run through. So to press the menu button on here, we start at the top. This is your playback folder. You can leave these all the same. But on the shooting menu, some of these you may want to change. The most important will, will be likely the, on the image quality, Let's you choose the file format in which the images are taken. Now here it gives us the option to take it in JPEG, but actually it might be a good idea to photograph in RAW, think back to our baked or unbaked cake analogy, so you can edit the photos subtly later on. Okay, so I'm gonna take a photo in RAW. White balance, remember this is your color temperature, so how blue or yellow your photo looks, we can change there if needs be. But auto is fine, and actually the rest of the, rest of the, of the settings we can leave as they are, okay? Okay, if we want to change the battery for any reason, obviously make sure the camera is off first. And just on the bottom, we can open up here. Just 
make sure you, you put the battery in the right the right way around. I'll, I will endeavour to charge them before we go. And I'll just get to the memory card, just on the right hand side here. Open up, and it will just click out. That's on there, okay. Now, before you take photos, it might be just a good idea just to format the format the card first. So that there's you haven't got anyone else's photos on your camera as well. To that, go, again, go back to our menu, and we want to find on the setup menu format memory card. Press OK. And just do that once when we first get the camera. Because remember, this will delete everything that's on the card. Okay. Now, we've got a couple of other lenses available, which, which some of you will be able to use. At the moment, we have a 55 to 200 millimeter lens. So it's a medium to quite zoomed in telephoto lens. Okay. If you want to change it for another lens, say this one here we've got is 18 to 55 millimeters. Just on the front here, press and hold this button here. It's quite a, quite a chunky button. Give the camera a twist and take it off, okay? Don't leave the camera like this exposed for too long, otherwise you'll get dust and dirt on there and it will land on the sensor and it will therefore affect your image quality. Now you'll notice on here, a little white dot and the same on our lens here too. So to fit the new one, match them up, give it a bit of a twist and you hear it click and that's it now locked in. Okay. If for any reason your camera isn't focusing automatically when you half press the shutter, just check that you have the focusing set to A for automatic. It could well be on me on M for manual, okay? Let's just check that. So if it's we put it back to manual, when we half press it, we, we don't hear that beep of it trying to focus. If we move it back to A. That little bit now tells us that the camera is locked on focus, and I'll fully depress the shutter to take the picture, and it will do so there. To go back and review your photos, press the little play button on here. You can scroll left and right as needs to be. Obviously, we've got one photo because we just formatted the card previously. You can delete photos on here if they're terrible, but actually, it might it can be better practice to not delete anything on here and do so when we edit photos later on on the computer in school, okay? If you're still stuck, read the in instruction manual. There's, there's a copy on Firefly as well, which, which you can look at. Or again, just have a look on YouTube. There are so many tutorial videos which will tell you how to do something really specific if that's what you want to do, okay? If not, any questions, let me know.